Hey guys, so this week's theme on YouTube Sisters is Sims Week. Now before I start, I'd just like to say sorry that my hair is a mess, I have no makeup on and I'm in my pyjamas. I've just filmed a video for my channel which needed this, kind of, well didn't need it, but I wanted to do it for that and I'm lazy. But um, yeah, that is why it will be up in a couple of days if you're interested um but yeah i'm really excited about sims week because i love the sims and i know a lot of the girls will be playing the sims and showing you so i thought that i would do something a bit different i thought that i would kind of compare things from sims 1 to sims 2 to sims 3 and potentially the sims 4 so let's get started now firstly starting with the sims 1 i don't like to call it the sims 1 i'm just going to call it the sims I actually never played The Sims, um, but I have seen pictures and from what I can see the graphics don't look the best. Some people love it the most because it was kind of the original one. Um, but yeah, I don't have a lot to say about it because I never played it. Um, but it just looked very kind of, not cartoony but pixely and things. But I bet it is good because it was the first one. and. Um, I watched the trailer and they wave like this, really kind of like, not smooth and um, I don't know why, I just found that really funny, um, but I have played Sims 2 and Sims 3 and I have more to say about Sims 4 so sorry if you're a fan of The Sims, I'm just going to move on to Sims 2. So I love Sims 2 so much, I'm always wishing that I could go back and play it now because I just loved it, it was the first one I played and um, it's just amazing and I can't play it because uh, we had two copies of it and they both wouldn't work, they wouldn't install so unfortunately I can't play it anymore but Sims 2 is awesome, what I love about The Sims 2 is that you have your family in the same world as maybe someone else who plays it as well like my sister used to play the sims 2 and i used to play the sims 2 so she always she always had the dreamer household and um i usually had i can't remember what it was i can't remember but there was quite a lot of people in it and i was really bad at looking after them and i remember once my sim died in the bath of starvation because i was so bad at <laughs> sims i'm not anymore though but yeah I just liked how they were in the same kind of neighbourhood and you could just easily select your own house and um, just play it you know you couldn't go into the town but with Sims 2 you didn't really want to like because it was just good in the house anyway and um, if you did want to go out somewhere it took about 10 minutes to load so there was really no point Sorry stuff has moved, I had to go for my lunch so everything's changed in the background but yeah. I was talking about The Sims 2 and some of the expansion packs for The Sims 2 are really good. For example, University. I think I actually might prefer Sims 2 University to Sims 3 University Life. And I love Sims 3. So that's saying something and Sims 2 is just amazing although it is really difficult if your sim is pregnant and toddlers are the most misbehaving horrible little things in Sims 2. <laughs> Obviously the graphics in the Sims 2 are so much better than um, the first Sims game um, which will have surprised a lot of people because you know it's such a massive difference so now the sims 3 the thing that i played the most i love the sims 3 i don't even want to know how many hours i've been on that game because it will probably just be too too damaging to my brain basically the graphics i think are another step up it depends on what you like it's a lot more smooth and things like that. There's a lot of glitches, but it's just a great game. Um, a big difference is that you can go out into the town. Sorry, I've got pins and needles, it really hurts. You can go out into the town 
you like go to the swimming pool, the shop. Um, there's quite a few rabbit holes, but for the most part, um, the buildings that you want to go in and want to see aren't rabbit holes, um, like the library and the gym and things like that. And the expansion packs, again, are great. The only thing is, I don't know why they just didn't include seasons in the base game or pets in the base game because they have those expansion packs for The Sims 2. Obviously, they just want to make money from you. <laughs> but yeah, I love The Sims 3. I actually not been going on it that much lately, but sometimes I just don't have the time. Although I will say that EA need to step up and make the DS games and the console games of The Sims better like Sims 2 and Sims 3 because they are rubbish, I think. Sorry if you like them, but personally compared to The Sims on the PC, they're just not great. And finally, The Sims 4. Now, no one has played The Sims 4 yet apart from the people that are working on it. And um, so I don't know what it's like, but I have seen all the trailers and things like that. So apparently you have like moods, so your sim can be in a depressed mood, an anger mood, a happy mood. That all depends on their surroundings, the other sims, the furniture, the decor, the weather. No, maybe not the weather, there's no weather in it yet. But you know what I mean. Um, which is cool, but your sim can also die from um, feelings. That took a while. Like, if they are really, really happy and they keep laughing, they can die from laughter. Um, but that's very rare. Um, apparently, it's about as rare as being hit by a meteor in The Sims 3, which actually did happen to my Sim once, and she died, so my horse had to go to the social services and I had to start again. But Sims 4 just looks really, really good. I'm really excited for it. It's much more cartoony. But Creator Sim looks amazing. I'm so excited just to be able to go on Creator Sim. Hopefully they'll do a demo before the game comes out so we can actually have a go on the Creator Sim. But it's basically like clay. You just get to pull their body parts out and different things. Um, the clothes look quite nice. The hairstyles doesn't look like there's that many options but we can't really see yet. Build mode, apparently is much easier. I'm okay at building houses I guess but I'm not the best. It does look easier but it still doesn't look simple. Um, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. It's all very cartoony and the neighbourhood looks really really nice, like it really fits in well with The Sims. Um, if you go on The Sims website, I'll link it below. It shows little clips and it shows one of the neighbourhood, I think it's called Willow Creek or something. It looks really nice um, and it just makes me really excited. The only thing that I am really, really annoyed about is that there are going to be no swimming pools. I can cope maybe with that, but there are also going to be no toddlers. It's literally just babies, children, teens. I can't remember if there was young adults and adults. There probably was because I've not seen anything online about saying there was no young adults um, and elders. So I'm disappointed that there's no toddlers because personally I prefer toddlers to babies because um, they're more interesting but we'll see. And also a good thing is that babies actually have legs, they don't look like burritos anymore in The Sims 4 so that's good. Um, in case you're wondering, Sims 4 comes out on September 5th in the UK and I think it's September 2nd in the US which is my birthday. Why couldn't it have come out on, on my birthday? Why? Damn you, EA. Even a bit EA. EA, EA, EA. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube Sisters and I will see you next Friday. What am I doing? Bye.